everyone, welcome to my channel, and today's video is going to be on our first beginner level Java project. This is actually kind of a common interview question as well, so if you're looking to learn more about whiteboard questions, I'd recommend using this video as a reference because you might be asked this during an interview. Today's project is going to be on how to reverse a string, so let's get started. First, we are going to start with our class name, which will be called reverse string. To be able to run our program, we need our main method and a good short cut to getting that main method set up is by using PSVM and clicking tab and that'll set that up for you. This is where our program is going to run first. Generally when you're doing an interview question, they don't need you to, you don't have to literally write out the class name or the public static void main method. You generally just write out the actual functionality itself, which in this case, we're going to be using a for loop to, to print out a string in reverse. So that's what you should mainly be focusing on in this video. Before we get started, we're going to actually declare and initialize our variables that we will be using. And this program is going to take in user input, so I am going to declare my scanner object. You start off with the object name, which is scanner. And what I love about IntelliJ is that it automatically imports things for you, so that's pretty neat. And I'm going to call this scan and set it equal to new scanner. We use new because this is a new object system.in. If you want to learn more about user input, be sure to check out my Java tutorial on user input. First things first, we're going to initialize our variables and we are going to have two variables that will be used in this program. We have the reverse string which is type string. Our next string is going to be called user input. And today, like I said earlier, we're gonna take in another user's input and whatever they enter will be held into this variable. So, so we declared our variable there. Now we're actually gonna take in our user's input by prompting them to enter in a word. And we are actually going to hold whatever they enter into user input by using scan.nextLine, which will hold it, the string that they entered. Actual work comes in. If you are looking to do this for an interview question, this is the important stuff that you would actually have to write down on the whiteboard. Basically, this is going to be a for loop, and inside this for loop is where we are actually going to reverse the string. If you want to know more about for loops, be sure to watch my job tutorial on that. I'm not going to go too in-depth on how for loops work but we are going to set int i equal to whatever the user inputs their length. We are going to set it to the length of whatever they entered, minus one. Since the index of a string usually starts with zero and then it moves up, we need to subtract one. For example, if I were to enter hello, it would take the length, which the length of hello is five, and subtract one from it. So in this case, i would equal four. Then we're going to take the condition of this for loop, and the condition basically just determines whether or not the loop should iterate again. So once this condition becomes false, it's going to stop running this for loop. So we're going to do while i is greater than or equal to zero. Then lastly, we're going to subtract one from i every time this loop iterates. Here is where we're actually going to initialize reverse to its proper value. Reverse is going to be equal to whatever it equals plus the last character of user input. And it's going to keep going down through each character of whatever they entered. So in this case, it's going to be user input dot char at i. To better demonstrate this, a string's index always starts with zero. This is why we would subtract one from the length of the string. So when the for loop is looping through each character, it's going to start at the last character and make its way down to the first character. To explain this more clearly, I hope that you guys are starting to understand, i is set equal to the length of the string, and we subtract 1 from it. Therefore, it would be set to 4, if we used hello, for example. So it's going to take the character at the index of 4, which is o, and add it to our variable. This would make o our first character of our new string, then, as the loop iterates, it's going to subtract 1 from i, so then it's going to go down to l and add that to our string, and it's going to keep looping down until it hits 0, which would reverse our string. i will originally be set equal to the highest index of that word that they entered. It's going to start at the index of 4 and hold that letter o, and it's going to add it to reverse. 
That is how we get the string to reverse, is by going down to each character and adding it to reverse. Then lastly, of course, we're going to have to print out the value. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope I explained that properly. Now let's run this program. So we're going to enter hello. And as you can see, it printed it backwards. That is how you reverse a string. I hope this helped. Please comment any questions. This is not something that's easy to explain. If you would like to me to explain things more in depth, just comment your question and I will respond. Thank you so much for watching and happy coding.